most things you know you learn by yourself. So how is this possible, right? Let's take the example of learning what a dog is. You don't learn what a dog is from your parent pointing it out or from your emotions guiding you. You learn what a dog is by defining the meaning of a dog by the company it keeps, right? We learn what a dog is by correlating and contrasting dog with other concepts, by observing dogs in different contexts. So you learn what a dog is by saying that dog is something that's walked by an owner with a leash. Dog is something that might have an antagonistic relationship with cats. It's something that chases frisbees when they're thrown. Right? This is what allows you to understand what a dog is. And what you get by this process is a very relational understanding of meaning. And it turns out that even things like language can be picked up in this way because dog is named or uttered more in context where dogs appear. So it's very, very, very powerful. So since we get this you know, relational understanding by concept from observing them, the more relations that we're able to learn and pick up this way, the better understanding we get of each individual concept, right? It's this, this synergetic reinforcing procedure, right? This network effects here. Understanding something like love helps you understand what a dog is because a dog loves its owner, right? So why not just try to push as many relations into one single model as possible? Train it on as much data as you can with as many parameters as you can to just get a better and better model with all of these synergy effects, right? And then use that as the backbone in a wide array of applications. So that's, that's exactly what a foundation models, model is. It's the output of the self-supervised learning process. And then, of course, the prime example of a foundation model is your brain. That's exactly what we're striving for. And now, because of the success of all these you know, self-supervised foundation models, we feel that we're on the path towards artificial general intelligence, right? AGI, because this is somehow the missing piece that's so useful everywhere within AI right now. And it's feeding all of these new revolutionary breakthroughs.